I'm Dr. George Flynn and you're watching In-Depth TV. Today we're going to talk about how things are going with you. How things are going great or how things are not going so great. You know, it's very easy to have a good attitude and faith and hope and charity and especially faith that everything is going to work out in your favor and doing great when everything is working out. And you know those times in your life that you've had when everything's working out, you're in the zone. Everything's just going your way. But it's a lot harder to have that faith, that courage, when you're facing challenges in your life. Things are kind of going off the rails. Things are not doing as well as they could or things are doing really bad. But that is exactly when you need to apply your positive attitude and faith. Because faith and your attitude is believing in the unseen. Faith, your, your belief in, is taking the first step. It's jumping into the deep end and actually knowing everything is okay and will be okay. You know, it's very easy to be positive when everything's working out. It's much harder, much, much, much harder when nothing's working out. But that's when we need that positive attitude the most. Everything worth the prize is worth the fight. Let's say that one more time. Everything that is worth the prize, worth what you want to do, worth your values, everything, if you're fighting for your family, for your, for your country, for your, uh, whatever it is, for your church, everything that is worth that prize is worth the fight. So everything worth the prize will re require a real fight to achieve that prize. If you want the prize, you can't quit at halftime. You can't quit mid-season. You got to play the whole game. You got to play the preseason through the cold, through the dark, through the challenges, through the opponents. You've got to continue to play the game, even if you're down in the trough of, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go next. I don't know what to do next. You'll be knocked down. But the key is for you to get up. You must get up. You must keep fighting. You must dig deep and discover your true strength within your essence, who you are, whose you are, and you'll find that true strength and that essence within you. When you find that, that's the important thing. Not whether you win or lose. The important thing is to find out who you are. That's the real prize. Your character, your expansion arising to the next level. You know, if I survive the storm, I can outdo the norm. You must break through the norm, the normal. How many people do you know that are just normal? They're not too much here, and too much there, they're just normal. Do you want to be normal? You can be normal. But if you want to break through and survive that storm, because there's going to be a storm. And if you can survive that storm, you'll outdo the norm. You'll break through. First, you've got to survive the storms, you know, to have more than most. Uh, you say, I must do more than most. I must do more than most people do. I must believe more than most people do. 
I must learn more than most people do. I must sacrifice more than most people do. And I must, I'll go over it again, believe more than the most. Now, I know you're watching a TV show. I know it may be early in the morning, midday, it may be late at night. But I want you to say to yourself, I want you to actually say to yourself, and you might even say it out loud. I'm, yes, I'm going to ask you to say it out loud. I want you to say, long term, I know what I need will come my way. So I, this, this is not just talking to you. I want you to say it. Long term, I know what I need will come my way. Next thing. Long term, I know if I keep at it, I will be rewarded. That's one more time. Long term, I know that if I keep at it, I will be rewarded. One more. Long term, I know that consistency pays off. Long term, I know consistency pays off. Long term, say it with me. I know all of my actions, all my discipline, all my integrity will pay off in a big way. Now we're going to say that one more time, long sentence. Long term, I know all my actions, all my discipline, all my integrity will pay off in a big way. I want you to say this too. I have faith. Everything will work out. Here's another one. In the end, all will be fine. If I keep working, if I keep learning, if I continue to evolve, if I continue to adapt, if I continue to learn new ways, all will work out. What are the conditions? For everything to work out just fine. You've got to keep working, got to keep learning, got to continue to evolve and continue to adapt and just learn a few new ways. That's a pretty, pretty big mouthful. Remember, setbacks aren't always negative. And I know I've heard it before, setbacks can be setups for a comeback. Setbacks aren't always negative. Sometimes they're sent to guide us in a much bigger and better direction. So the setback you get, you think, oh no, it's the end of the world for me. Sometimes that setback is sent to guide you in a much bigger and better direction. And accept that. Sometimes you're 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 going right, but you're on just a little bit on the wrong road. You're on a side road, and they want you on the super highway. So this setback can be something to guide you in a much bigger and better direction, even though you don't see it. But you can only see that if you show character in those hard times. When the hard times come. Show your character. Remain open-minded in the hard times. Don't close off your mind. Oh, I didn't get this thing. Therefore, I can't do anything else. Remember, the hard times, maybe they're there to help you. And just remain open-minded and look for the setup for your big comeback. If you show strength through your struggles, just remember, show strength through those struggles. 
don't wind up saying this. You see people that something happens to them. They say, why me? Why me? Ask, how can I come out of this stronger? Ask the question, what can I learn from this? In the hard times, we see who really has character. In the hard times, we see what people are really made of, what's inside of them. What are you made of? What exactly are you made of? You can go ahead. Tell me. What in the world are you made of? Do you have strength? Do you have forgiveness? Do you have compassion? Do you have resolve to go on? Do you have enough resolve to say, well, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Well, let's try another way. Or let's do a little bit something, a little bit different. Or do you say, I give up? What are you made of? Are you made of, are you a person that continues to, to go? Yes, you are. You know, if you're going to expand your growth and you expand your character, growth, dig deep, find that true strength that lives directly inside of you. Trust that if you keep doing your thing, even though times are hard and you don't see a way that it can work out for you, remember, you will be rewarded. You will get to the place you're supposed to be. It's not exactly maybe the place you want to be. It's going to be better. That's the key. It's better than you ever thought. You will be rewarded. Might not happen right away. It rarely does. But you just remember, it will happen if you keep going. And do not allow regret to enter your life. Don't you dare look back your life five years from now and think, well, I could have done more. Do everything to the best that you can do. Do everything at your best and for your best and of your best. Don't look back and say, ah, could have done more. Don't look back and say, if I'd only stuck it out, I could have been a much better, been in a much better position. No, look back. Look back with your character. Look back and be able to say to yourself, wasn't easy, but I'm proud. I'm proud that I stuck it out because I finally got my rewards. Finally. Make sure your story is one of strength. Your story is one of someone who refused to give up, refused to settle for second best, refused to be normal. Keep going. Your future self is begging you to keep going, to do this for your future self, for your kids, for your family, for your neighborhood, your city, your state, your country, the world, the world needs you. The world needs you like you are and evolving and learning and working and especially not quitting, not giving up. I'm George Flynn. You've been watching In-Depth TV. Glad to be with you. See you next time.